Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? Lou here with Godlike Collectibles. Uh, doing another video. I got a mail call. Um, one is from eBay. And the other one was from uh, Triple Crown 24. And uh, the baseball collector, Mike Moynihan. They were doing like a, a live sale of the basement collection that they would um that they ended up getting and um they started doing a live sale and i thought it was pretty cool but afterwards it was like you know and and, and i'll get into it um first let me show what i got here all right first the ebay stuff that i ended up getting I ended up getting a 1969 Deco Edge, um, number 27, Roberto Clemente. Very cool. So, very cool. You know, it's got a little stuff on the edges, but... Overall, it's a very cool card. Wanted to get this Clemente. Nice. I might get the. Uh, I might get the the whole set. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I did pick up another one um, that I'll show next time. That it just came in the mail too. I, I but I opened it up. You know, sometimes I get a little bit ahead of myself. You know, before the video. But uh, yeah, here's the Bobby Clemente. So this is very happy to have this one. And then, here's the one that I got from Triple Crown 24. And uh, the baseball collection, I mean the basement collection, uh, you know, beautiful packaging. So, here's the thing. Um, I saw both uh, videos that they did, both sales. They did two live sales. And the first one started off... Like, they were like, okay, this is a dollar, or that's a dollar, this is two dollars, this, and whoever would claim it first would get it, which I thought was kind of cool, right? Because you know how it is when you go on whatnot, whatnot gets a little crazy, and um, people overbid, you know what I mean? And what should sell for ten dollars actually ends up selling for twenty dollars because everybody gets caught up in the bidding war and now you got cards that are not worth that much going for that much and so when they started doing this in the beginning in the first live sale i thought it was kind of cool like i won this this card for a dollar right i won this card for a dollar i won this card for two dollars i won another card here for two dollars i would have did that all day you know what I mean? Plus $5 shipping. So I, I would have stood there and I would have bought probably like 25 cards. You know? If they would have auctioned off, you know, $5 cards, $2 cards, whatever. And, and kind of did like claim first basis. Then it would have been cool. But then what happened was... I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I don't even know what happened. Somebody must have suggested about doing like some kind of auction style... I guess for they can have a chance. I guess they weren't being fast enough. So now they changed it to auction. Now granted, it helped um you know the the sellers it helped out immensely. Um because now, you know, the sellers would make more money, you know, because now they started auctioning off the cards, so now the auctions could go up to $20 a card, $50 a card, $30 a card, whatever the case may be. So in that sense, it makes sense for them to make money. But what sucked about it is that now you have certain people they're bidding that have deeper pockets than other collectors. You know what I mean? You got other collectors that don't have the money to 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 bid on five to ten items that are going for 40 50 60 dollars each you know what i mean you got certain people that maybe have a 50 dollar budget and now if they want to buy multiple cards they can't because they're gonna get you know 
uh, brought up into price for a car that they probably really wanted, but now it's out of their range because somebody else who got more money can 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 bid it. And I get it. You know what I mean? Like that's that's what it's about, right? eBay's like that, whatnot is like that. But when you're dealing with the community, you know, I think you have to keep in mind that not everybody in the community um can afford it. You know, and not to say that I can't afford it, um, because you know, I could afford a lot of the cars that were there, but I'm not going to overpay for cards that I know I could get cheaper on eBay. Like they had the, the you know, Perez Steel cards um, that were autographed. And some of them went up to like 80 bucks. And I'm looking on eBay for the same card. Um, and they're going for half that price for $40, $50. And then they're selling for 80 because they're being driven up on the auction because there's people that can afford to do that. And I get it. It's fun. It's exciting. You know what I mean? You don't want to lose. You want to win. So, but I was able to get these, these cards from the first sale. I did see the second sale to see if there was anything that I, that I liked that I was willing to get. And there was a few things that I did like in there that I was willing to, to bid on, but the bids just got out of hand. And it got to a point where, it was like ridiculous paying for certain cars that weren't even in great shape either, you know? And my thing is this, if the guys were willing to let them go at a dollar or $2 or $5 and they were like, okay, first one to claim $5 on this card, you know, then you should have just kept it that way. The reason why a lot of the people were, were wanting the auction style was only because they wanted a chance to get the card and they were too slow to type in claim. And what happens is, is that now they're the ones that probably have the money to, to, to drive those auctions up. And then it hurt the little guy, the guy that probably only has $50 to spend for the night. And now... $50 is, is not even enough to get one Perez Steel uh, card, you know, auto. So, you know, in that case, I was a little turned off by it. But I still follow them. I still love um, Mike Moynihan watching his stuff and his content. I think he's an awesome, awesome content creator. Um, I love their, you know, all the things that he's doing with the Chasing Cardboard with Ty. And, you know, I, I really enjoy watching him and and learning from them because he's really like on top of his game when it comes to vintage. But, um, but I wasn't able to compete because I'm not, I refuse to spend all that money on cards that are not worth that much money. If you get catch my drift. So in any case, let me show you what I did pick up from the first night. I got this, uh, Juan Marshall tops traded. This is a, what year is this? I think this is a 1980, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. No, this is a 70, 74, maybe? Not even sure. I got to look it up. But cool card. You know what I mean? I'm not really crazy about the, the big traded on the front. But it's cool. It's Juan Marshall, Hall of Famer. Figure I, and I don't have it, so I got this cool Yogi Berra as a manager for the New York Mets. It's a cool card. Um, I got this '68 Tim McCarver. <laughs> I always think about when Deion Sanders poured the poured the champagne on him. <laughs> He was pissed off. But this one is not in the greatest of shape. But for a buck, you can't go wrong, right? Let's take it out the... You know, it's got a little bit of... little damage there on the corner, but... Nonetheless, cool little card. It's off-centered and all that. But, you know, not bad. And um, this one I was very happy to get. 
I got this Mike Schmidt, which I feel he may be the best all-around third baseman in the game. You know, Brooks Robinson obviously was an unbelievable fielder. But um, I think Smitty was a better hitter. Uh, hit for power. This guy hit. This is a 1982 card, and it's showing here he hit 48 homers, 45 homers, 38, 38, 38, 36. The, the guy was an absolute monster. You know what I mean? Great player. Great third baseman. He was actually a good fielder, too, man. So I, these these are the four cards I picked up. And uh, so I'm, I'm happy to get these. Got myself that Clemente in, from eBay. Got this for a nice price for cheap. So like that. Very cool card. But, you know, um, I got nothing but love for them guys. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't, I'm not here to spew any hate. Or anything like that. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I, I know it's about making money and doing your thing. So I, I give them that. You know what I mean? I, I, I get it. But um, it kind of like went from not being whatnot to being whatnot. Because even when it comes to comic books, there's comics that go on whatnot for way too much money. And um, and, and believe me, I bought stuff on whatnot. I, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a cool... Um, way to 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 not get outbid it, you know what I mean? How you know how in eBay you could snipe at the last second and win an item, and then with whatnot it like kind of resets the clock a little bit to give you an opportunity to rebid if you wanted to bid more. But like I said, I think people get so carried away that they start overbidding and driving these prices way too high, and a lot of these comics and cards that are not worth that much end up becoming like way overpriced you know and it's a shame because you know you do have collectors that can't afford you know um certain big cards and i get it you know what i mean like it's it's, it's not your problem right like you know but um you know, I, I just feel that the way they started, it was actually pretty cool. And it was actually exciting because it was like you were so like out me personally. I was amped up like I was watching the YouTube live on my TV and then I had the YouTube on my phone and on my phone. I was writing claim or claim this or claim, you know, Schmidt or claim, you know, Carver, or whatever it was. And it was kind of cool to do that. And it was exciting and then when it got to the auction, when they changed it to auction style, then it was like, all right, yeah, that's way out of my price. Yep, that's way out of the ballpark for me. You know, I I, I refuse to pay $100 for that or $80 for that or what, you know what I mean? And then, you know, there were certain bidders that you could see their name coming up over and over again. They were constantly bidding on every um, card that kept coming up or every item. And it was like, okay, those are the guys with the deep pockets. We see that they're the ones that are going to keep winning these auctions. So it became a turnoff. You know what I mean? And and not to say that I can't bid on on certain cards. Um, because today I bought a a, a graded uh, Clemente and a, and, a, and a graded um, Vic Power rookie card on eBay. And, you know, they weren't, you know, $10 cards. But, um, you know, it's just that I'm not willing to overpay for something when I can get it at a better price and utilize the rest of the money in buying another um, card that I'm interested in, you know? So, you know, you could tell me what you think. Maybe I'm wrong for thinking that way or feeling that way. Um, because there were people that were interested in doing the whole auction thing, but I think it was a little bit, um, I don't want to say it's not fair because it, it's fair, but 
I, I just felt that them changing it like that on the fly, they should have kept the first night. If they were going to do that and change it, I think they should have just kept the first night the way it was going, um, where we were able to get cards like this. Because at the end of the day, they could have just easily said, okay, well, this stack of cards, we're going to put them up for $2.00. This stack of cards we're going to do for $5. This stack of cards is going to be $10. And they still could have made money on the cards. But by doing what they did, it was like, for instance, you know, if I got this Schmidt for 2 bucks, it probably would have went for $10 if he would have put it on auction. You know what I mean? And they would have over overpriced it. Or this one that I got for a dollar or whatever it was that I got it for, it probably would have went for $10. You know what I mean? Because people would have drove the the bid up, and um, you know, and and for me, that's when it doesn't become fun anymore. You know what I mean? Because now it's like, okay, well, now I'm overspending on cards that, you know, I can end up getting something different, um, for the same price, and 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 get more, more value for my money, um, rather than overpaying for a card, and you know. So that that that's my just my thoughts and my opinion. And like I said, I got nothing but love for those guys. I I I'm subscribed to them. I watch their videos. I follow them. Um I learn from them, you know, especially Mike, you know, what the the content he puts out there, it's it, it's awesome. I enjoy listening to when they do the podcasts and groups and all that stuff. I enjoy it. it it's, you know, part of the hobby and and, and I love it. But like I said, it, it just kind of sucked that um I was kind of excited about it when I was like winning a couple of these cards. I was like, oh, this is cool. I could be here all night, you know, trying to trying to win, you know, and it's fair game. Anybody could, you know, type whoever's the fastest to, to type in claim. But they changed it to the auction and that's when it got a little carried away. So but, you know, best of luck to them. You know what I mean? And. More power to them. They're making more money doing it. So, hey, you know what I mean? They you can't blame them. They're just doing what the community asked. So, but me speaking for the little guys that perhaps don't want to spend so much money uh, and uh, overpaying for cards, you know, that wanted to have a chance to, to win some cards, you know, they, they probably just um, got beat out. Because uh, they, they got outpriced. But um, in any case, like I said, I just wanted to share what I got. Share my thoughts. Um, you know, the video went longer than what I usually do. I try to keep my videos at 10 minutes or, or less. Um, but this one went a little bit longer, but it's okay. You know what I mean? I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to comment down below. Uh, let me know. Do you think I'm wrong? Um, do you think it, it, I'm right? You know, it doesn't matter if I'm wrong or if I'm right, because at the end of the day, the community is the community. Uh, things are going to happen and things are going to be done the way people want to do it. And, you know, more power to them. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's it's fair game out there. So, um, you know, it's just like an eBay when we when we are bidding on something. It may get pushed up too much out of our range. And those are the breaks. But I'm not here to come like cry about it. I'm I'm just here just explaining what happened. And um because I think I would have had way more cards. I would have bought a lot more cards. Um because these cards are awesome, man. Can you imagine getting these cards for a dollar or two dollars a piece? You can't beat it. This was great. I loved it. You know, it was fun. I was enjoying um the I enjoyed it. And I watched the second live sale, even though I didn't get to purchase nothing on the second live sale. But I watched it. I watched the whole thing in its entirety. So, but uh, hope everyone has a good one. Take care. God bless. Feel free to comment below. Feel free to like. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.